like I said, she's adopted. So I think that what I want to focus on is have activities where we create a bond so that she has an interest in training because right now she really doesn't care one way or another if I'm near her or not. First baby, tell me what to do right so I don't mess it up horribly. <laughs> cool. Okay. What sort of formal training have you done? With her, I could just barely get near her up until recently. So now is at the point that we're doing target training. She's doing it without trying to destroy the stick. This took a while because the stick was like hyper aggressive. Okay. I have gotten her to turn around. Okay. Twice. Come. There you go. And also older parrots have a tendency to have a shorter fuse. So they'll allow you one or two mistakes and then they're done. Okay. Versus younger ones, you could screw up all day long and <laughs> they'll still have the patience, but the older ones lose patience faster. So like I have yeah. to like visualize where I'm going to put the stick before I even approach the area and yeah. then put it right there. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> if I was going to do it to you and I was like, I want you to touch my finger. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I'm going to have you come right. like this. I'm going to have you come like this. Okay. And if you were going for it that the whole time, you'd be like, dude, like freaking leave it leave there. It so, there. I can grab it. so versus me going like, okay, I want you to come here. Right. And just committing to that. Just think about it before you go in and be like, I'm going to have her go here and then stay. Okay. Okay. Good job taking away the opportunity. That's a really good lesson right there. So when birds have the opportunity to fail, they usually learn the most through those failure points. Good job. I just want to clean up the target slightly. If I put it here, she can only reach the very, very tip. See how she can't quite reach? And then I met her. She couldn't bite it as hard because she could just barely get to it. I'll show you again. So I'm gonna go really far and she's only can see the tip of it, right? And she's trying, 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 there. So she can't physically get her lower mandible under. It's the upper and the tongue because her lower is back here still. Mm -hmm. That's how far you should have the target. So anticipate that you're going to be just within a reach. If you're not quite there, you go a little bit closer, but I wanna see you do that okay. properly prior to starting the spin. And the reason for this is you're pairing that emotion with the trick that the bird's learning. So what you're currently getting is pissed off touch the stick. Right. And so that's going to escalate to more and more aggressive biting of the stick, which if you spent the entire time training where she's frustrated, it's not a fun session for her. Right. So if every interaction is a training session, we want to put touch the stick calmly on cue. So everything's more zen-like for her training session so she can really enjoy it versus it being any sort of anxiety and like aggression. So right here. Yep. Could you see the second repetition I did, how she couldn't get the lower mandible under? Yeah, she got it that time. So I think I'm still too close, but I don't want to taunt. Yep. You can always go closer. Tiny bit closer. There. Yes. See how much softer that was? Yeah. The main thing is that you don't go so close that you have to pull it away. Okay. That's what's going to make her mad, but if you just need to keep going closer, that's okay. Perfect. See how much softer that, that is? That's so good. Okay. I would I would almost tell you like go for the reach versus okay. the full on clamping down. That reach is really gentle. She's actually more responsive too to that. Mm -hmm. I think it's pairing it way better. So we're not going to work on the spin on this first rep series. We'll work on it today, but not this first rep. Because mm -hmm. this so she is had like a positive association. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and all we're doing is we're just cleaning it up. Good job. Great. So much better. I love it. it looks really, really good. We always want to end on a on a good note, and we want sessions to be two to five minutes. I'm not sure what's going to happen. You're going to go halfway, click, and then the rest of the way, treat. 
Now that I've established that direction, that's the only direction we're gonna go. Okay. So, half the way, click, the rest of the way, treat. Right. What it does, it gets you kind of two repetitions out of one set, out of one click. She's gonna get this fast. Go here, oh. Ooh. and there. Do you see the difference of what he's doing yeah. versus how it could be <clears throat> taunting the way the other way it was? Mm -hmm. Okay. So pretty soon it's just going to be my finger, which I could probably switch to, but. She's a smart one, huh? She's so yeah. smart. <laughs> no problem at all. So what happens is you'll see this and then all of a sudden, like, for, it'll be like two or three minute training sessions, but then she gets full and that's it. You're not going to get anything else out of her. And again, that comes down to that treat value, right? Right. And the six gone, oh. and she's got it. I'm going to start to just make it obvious and repetitive and predictable so she offers a behavior. Mm -hmm. And then you assign a cue. You're gonna notice the other thing that I'm waiting for now is not her beak to turn, I'm waiting for both feet to be facing in the same direction. So it's there. It'd be great if we get this in one session. <laughs> This is the last one, ready? Good job. Let me let her sit there for a sec because I want to have you go through that same process. And just see if you can get her to do it. If you're getting no movement, flash the treat. Cause she's like, oh yeah, I gotta work for that. Okay. And then come back and do it again. So I'm gonna do like this, not not stopping. My so what happened, there's a, there's a really key moment where you almost had it. There's a moment where you have to pause slightly okay. and then she'll turn and then you can finish it. Okay. So, so you see if you look, you want to this? I may cue you to pause. So go. Otherwise I'm just gonna keep going if you don't say pause, right? She just focused on the treat that yes. time. Okay, so yeah, she was looking at your treats the whole time. So let's do it with the stick. Okay. So think of it this way. Before you start, think of it as she's standing. She's standing here. You're going to move the stick until she's. Uh, it, you'll see where she's about to lose interest. At that point, she's still watching. Pause right before she loses interest, and she'll start the movement. Once she starts the movement, go with her. Okay. And then show her the treat. Okay. Let me get out of the. And again, we may be right at the end, but there you go. So pause and finish and click good, good job. did you feel that one brief moment where if you kept going you were going to miss it mm -hmm. that's where we need to pause for now i'm going to move over a little you don't have space to turn there so do i target mm -hmm. towards the middle here oh i messed up there i'm sorry what do i do you got to give her a treat because well, she did it so that's a good lesson there. Like there, she did give the cue, the bird did it. Go ahead and give the treat. Don't click okay. afterwards because think of a clicker as a flash photographer watching a baseball game. They're trying to take a picture of an exact moment in time and that's what the click is. So if if you were trying to click when a baseball player hits the, hits the ball, but you click when it hits the, the umpire in the face, that's the picture you're gonna see more of, right? right. So if let's say, you're trying to teach step up and you meant to click when both feet hit and you didn't and you're late. Well, by the time you click, she might be biting you. Right. So now you've just took a picture of, we want you to step up and bite every time. Okay. And you get what you click. So it's better to not click. But reward. And still reward. Okay. If you make a mistake. Right, okay. So I don't think she has enough space where she's standing to make the turn. So how do I get her to stand more in the middle? I think she, do does. she does. Okay. I'm afraid she's like always like, Almost falling off the stick. Okay. Okay, right, so go. And pause. And go. Good job. And quick. Perfect. Good job. Let's go ahead and end there. Because okay. you're 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 still feeling each other out. Mm -hmm. The last thing that we'd want to do is overtrain this and get her really frustrated. Mm -hmm.